Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back with another one, back with another one. Oh, this is Sunday Dailies. Should I say the sixth edition? And it's pretty much the same as always, but let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Intuitive. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, right into it. So it's been a rough week. It's been a rough last week. And yes, we did SNUs. We did the sorry ass niggas universities. It's pretty cool. But, you know, y'all give me one second. I'll be right back. Yeah. It's pretty much, it's pretty much the same. And, you know, I'm just looking at what's going on here and whatever. Just looking at it like, you know, Ramil's giving y'all that work, man. I got some views on the SNU. I said what I said. I, I told y'all because I said, don't quote me on, on last week. And I think this past Friday. Last past Friday, I, I said I wasn't going to do the stream, but I had to, you know, just had to get it off my chest. But there will be a part two explain why I did part one. And that'll be the final part, you know, just SNUs. That's what I'm going to call these things. And when they always say the, um, they want to call themselves SBN, well, Ramil's trolling y'all. But he's not really trolling y'all. But if you keep doing what you're doing, we're just going to clown you. That's all it is. I mean, niggas just don't want to hear it. And then we hear the term SBN. That's by Tassi. They hated that. They just hated that. You know, when it is. And you got Pass over here tripping. Doing the stream with, with them saying. So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Hold on for a second. I'll be. Excuse me for one moment. Sorry, my sinus is acting up. Nerves is popping. Let's see something real quick. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me talk to y'all this way for my actual screen. My little windscreen, but <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. It's goddamn weather. I can't stand it. I hate April. The beginning parts of it, I, I hate April. Only thing I like is the hotter spring, but I hate the um, early spring. I, I cannot stand that. That's when shit start blooming and shit. Tears up my nose and my face. You get allergic reactions. But anyways. Last night, man, my Kings won. I, I love that team. I always love them more than the Spurs, even though I love the Spurs too, but the Kings is my personal favorite. It holds dear to my heart since the 90s when they had Mitch Richmond and everything else, right? And I was watching the game, and I know people's tripping. The Warriors, you know, they they old, but it's going to be an interesting playoff series. I, I'll talk a little playoff basketball in, in between time Thursday, you know, talk a little sports and everything, you know, mix up the combo. But it's like, it's just what you're seeing, man. You know, it's been kind of weird. This has been a weird year. Like 2023, everybody's talking on the election year. A lot said they're going to vote the same. No, you weak niggas going to vote the same because y'all so dumb. I've been talking about this shit since two years ago. What 2024 is going to bring. I've been saying this. It's going to be very different. And a lot of people say, oh, Biden ain't going to be there. If he's running, he's going to win again. They're going to put it and keep him in there for, for a minute. So Republicans are no different than the people so-called left. Well, they're not really the left. Republicans are actually liberals. Liberals always have a right-wing uh, racist mindset. Liberals are not left-wing. There's no such thing as a left-wing liberal. or right. They're really lean towards the right anyway. See, a liberal, 
I'll tell you what he is. A liberal is basically like a utilitarian person. I'm going to break this down. Shouts out to Duke, the Don. He was saying this like early this morning around midnight. And then last night, I tried to tell him, like, I agree with what he, everything he said. I'm glad he said every conservative ain't to say they just don't believe in a party system, which is true. I said that before in one of my political streams, like conservatism and liberalism, but I broke down that liberalism leans towards to what? Philosophy, utilitarianism. I told y'all what it is. And we will do a final part, part three, and make our synopsis about utilitarianism. And we're going to talk about it this coming up Wednesday, you know, this week, Wednesday. And we're going to talk about it. And, you know, I'll drop the recording, whatever, and I'll record it ahead of time and then drop it Wednesday and let y'all think about it. But Wednesday, you're going to see I explain my position, why utilitarianism has a lot of similarities to liberalism. It birthed it. Thanks to John Stuart Mill. And I've been saying this for the longest. So anyways, when when people spout off political knowledge on here and then be on panels, there's not that many. But Citizen Lou says something valuable. Yeah, it's his only issue with it is just simply people took it and ran with it. That's what they're supposed to do. This is the Internet. You know, niggas is, is dumb. That's what my utilitarian videos were about. Niggas that follow BGS all day, being ignorant and stupid about what's going on in the world. And don't do the proper research of the philosophy. See, they spout on philosophies, but they don't tell you what they mean. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dudes is dumb. And they get the wrong impression. They try to say it's not hedonistic, but it is hedonistic. Very hedonistic. Whether you like it or not. And it's always did it if you do proper research. It's been proven, man. Like, they don't have that many philosophers. They have about six, eight philosophers support utilitarianism. But if you study nihilism... You got a lot of philosophy. You got so many. It's just like, it's ridiculous at this point. So what the hell is people are talking about? So when you're talking about things that matter, why would you? See, the thing about when you talk about utilitarianism, you got to talk about its base form. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I read the pros and cons all the time. And let me get some for y'all. Like I said, tell you about that garage, the green garage.com, the 13 uh, advantages, disadvantages of utilitarianism theory. While it's basically saying this philosophy has pros and cons. So in a society like that will never work. We've seen time to time again, democracies don't work. It's, it's a little bit of conservatism. So basically Duke was saying last night, he said uh, conservatives are lean towards to democracies, which is true. So Duke even knows this. A lot of people know this. They figured it out. The older you get, yeah, you you have to read certain books to tell you and correct you. That's what these things are. You see what I'm saying? Like you really study these philosophies in its proper sense, you'll have an understanding. A lot of these people are so dumb on the internet. They have short intentions, man. That's why YouTube shorts are garbage. And Ramil said that if you don't engage with your audience in the comment section or in a live stream or a pre-record, you're basically not doing shit. So it's basically you see things for what it is. I talk about different philosophy. Y'all didn't ask me anything. I've done streams on it. I'm not going to do it no more. Y'all can look for yourself. I've been saying this. So basically you have it. I got, I got the sources. I just don't promote my channel like that no more. I just let y'all come find and do what y'all do. I'm not trying to be a superstar on this shit. It's just what it is because it's got to the point everything got saturated. And everybody wants to hate on all of a sudden. But, you know, you get tired of that shit after a while. That shit gets old. That shit gets old real quick. But you got to understand where we are today. That's the beauty of not giving a fuck what's going on. And you got to understand this stuff is going to continue. I mean, only matters in time. And you just see the big picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my internet's trying to janky right now, but you know, don't don't pay it no mind. This gold bar shit. But it's like pretty much shit. But yeah, Ramil was trying to explain the SBE thing to these niggas. They so slow. He said, just keep SBE. And he said, don't stop. And then you got the nigga freeze on say don't stop. Don't stop at all. Don't stop at all. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just learn to adapt. 
a lot of people don't like the word adapt, but no, you have to adapt to it. I ain't saying adapt what they think. Yeah, we're winning, but we're not really winning. You could disagree all you want to, but Ramil's right. As long as you have simps and sucker ass niggas that be crying about the box, um, you're gonna have more shit like this, stupid streams like this, and you got these weirdos and they take things and they just run and say what. So I'm saying they don't understand that they're, they're talking about you niggas to be on panels acting stupid. But y'all don't get that. I get what they're saying. You niggas don't get what they're saying because y'all mad because this is what y'all do. You have women on your panels. They throwing shots at y'all. They're not really throwing shots at themselves. You know, they don't allow that. But you niggas allow that. They talking about you, nigga. They talking about you, Kuda. That shit you be doing, like... I had it a few times. It's cool, but but why you need them to build your channel and it don't work? You see what happened to Laqueef Network? They're finished. Thanks to the uh, the simp nigga. What's his name? Daryl Long. They told him a simp. Well, he is. He be super chatting and do all this shit. I don't subscribe to him. No way. I'm neutral in the matter, but his information pan out. He sent to Duke. Duke just went crazy ever since then. So those those people lied on that panel that Duke had. So that right there lets me know nobody can be trusted and niggas can't be trusted at all you, you already know what it is it, it is what it is but you're basically saying we got this thing going on that we that there were ill advised right but that's the thing about the culture i mean yesterday i was at ramil street he talked about it and i know people was getting in their feelings about the spe thing and then passed and all of them they, they don't understand that that's their thing He's I'm going to go left regard. That, that's cool, but no one cares. You're just a pawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I know people don't like Ty City and Ramil. I understand y'all don't like Zero, those three, because they had their own lane and y'all jealous. All it is is basically jealous, and you niggas can't do nothing what they do, and yes, they garner an audience. People rock with them. I don't have an issue with them three at all. They make great content. They It could be entertaining. They could talk they ish. They could talk about something intellectual. They they're well balanced. They're not just somebody. They're a well balanced content. They watch their positive stuff. They just choose not to. They figured it out. And I'm the same way. It's well balanced. But you got to explain a way to people. See, when I talk about political, people don't want to listen. But I do it anyway for the ones that are listening. But niggas don't want to hear that. You know, that manifest shit is, <laughs> that shit's dead, man. Like, that, that shit died in 2012. I told y'all how I feel about it. Niggas be on yelling about the box. No one cares. And then you got these Samuelite sexuals that want to defend the bullshit that he says. It don't matter. His shit don't hold no water. I, I first saw Kevin, it was like in three years ago, 2020. It was in Melody's chat, and he got and he saluted everybody in the chat, but walked his way into the panel. So I already told you my story about him. He's irrelevant to me. He was relevant because you niggas made him relevant because enabling hoes figured his message out. And they said, you know what? He used that. He didn't care about you niggas. Kevin always shitted on the low hanging fruit niggas, the niggas in these spaces. He didn't give a shit. He didn't care about Donovan. That's how Bill was in those informations to me. Been knowing that. He's that type of dude. I told you he was a fuck nigga. Y'all don't listen. I have a right to clown him when he died. Even before I was talking shit about him subliminally, he's a piece of shit. And when he died, I still didn't give a fuck about him. That that shows you I don't I'm not a follower of his. So you can call me a hater who you want. It don't really matter, but it's the truth. Y'all niggas got reverence cause y'all losers, man. They don't care about you niggas. We're his detractors. I'm his detractor. He knows I was his detractor. Not on his side. If I'm not subscribed, he said what he said. Hell, he's a fruit. Fuck that fruit ass nigga, man. Fuck that gay ass nigga. Like, we already knew that. He just used the clothes as a cover. And his girlfriend was overweight. Overweight dude, mind you. And he had a view said, Let me see your dick. He said, What's your. P size and D size, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be mild over here. But it's just it's just what it is. You know, he's on that shit. But is this y'all leader? Is this y'all's king? 
Come on, man. And look what happened to him. There it is. It's always been on that tip. It's just it, he ain't the only one. It's a lot of niggas like that way before this modern day manosphere, what you got now, they already infiltrated. Back then they was in the corner trying to infiltrate. Now look at them now. The ruining shit and y'all acting like bitches, man. And it is it is what it is. And this is why females have so much flack for y'all. They they were as holding no weight, by the way. Because all they do is complain about the same shit. And they fuck with that shithole. Shouts out to Nate for that. You know, salute, you know, salute to big Nate. Um, out of um the billionaire mindset, but that, that guy's a shithole. He said, right? He's gonna do, he's gonna do what he's gonna do. We can identify. I told my mom last night, we can identify what the women sleep with, whoever they with, he's gonna be who he is. We see it on him. That's all. We see it on him. And then they get upset when we confront them about it. You know, like they love to talk so much on lots of panels, which I don't be on lots of panels. I used to in my 2020 to 2021 days. I did that for extent, and I kind of stopped in 2022. So the span of 2020 to 2022, that's my history on panels. But after that, I stopped and did my own thing. I didn't want to participate. I felt like I wasn't welcome, but that's okay. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them niggas. I'm doing my thing. And that's all you can do. That's all you can do. So after that, fuck them. You know what I mean? And that's how I'm doing my shit. But you got a lot of bitch ass niggas talk about the same shit over and over again. Okay? Fuck them niggas that don't like me. You know what I mean? They can hold that. If anybody that comes to my channel, if I don't acknowledge you, I'm saying fuck you for the rest of my life. All right? I don't have to acknowledge your bitch ass ever exists. I'm just not going to acknowledge you at all. If we fall out, that's it. I'm just going to talk right through you. And then it's a fair warning to the ones that um, say I crossed them and, you know, you crossed me or whatever. I'm not going to acknowledge your bitch asses again. This is for those that have an issue with me. I'm just putting that out there in case why I'm not speaking to you. And that's a good reason why I'm not speaking to you. You're no different than these niggas crying on panels. That's all I can say about that. You can confront me on it. You can talk your shit. I don't give a fuck about you. Okay? Y'all irrelevant to me. Y'all bitch niggas in real life because y'all ain't about that shit. Because if you was about it, you would have done something by now. Fuck out of here. I don't want to hear that. You niggas are soft, man. And that's why you got to have both worlds. The internet world is not really a real world, by the way. It's just, you know, it's just for show. Yeah, I say my shit. I say what I say. I have different opinions. I have facts. There's a white man's opinion. There ain't no one man's opinion. Some of them turns into facts. Some of them turns into opinions. I have opinions on a lot of things. I'm not opinionated, but some of that shit turns into facts. I think before I say something. But sometimes I have my own mind. You know, that's why the independent thinking series is the way it is. You don't have to be like these niggas because they talk about the same shit over and over again. Citizen Luke has to understand. Um, I don't know how long he's been on YouTube. I've been on YouTube a lot longer than he has. It don't fucking matter. As long as you have a core audience that fucks with you from the past and, they, and you pre-record, they're going to mess with you. Everybody's not going to be your friend. And I understand. I saw this 2020 and through the years of being on panels and off and on and doing my shit in 2022. I cut niggas off then. I start doing that in 2022. When they have an issue, fuck them niggas. Period. I just don't acknowledge they bitch asses because they're irrelevant and they ain't doing shit and nobody's fucking with them. Okay? And that's a fact. Who's doing content, who's not? That's what matters. People going to look who they're going to follow. They're only loyal to a certain uh, uh, fault. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always going to be active in the comment section when shit goes awry. Yes, I'm a content creator. But I don't have to do content to, to, to get some validation. I don't want to be a panelist no more. And I'm done with that. Because I could drop recordings all day long. Once you have subscribers, man, like to a thousand or above, it's I stop caring about you niggas, man. If I go somewhere else, I'll still get some. It's just it's just a matter of time to see where the playing field is. This site is so weak. It's been weeks since I told y'all this prior to that. 
cats died. <laughs> They're getting sued over some bullshit that they do. Well, actually, they do kind of deserve, by the way, and clean up their site. That's basically what it is. You know, you just can't say the shit that you want and then you try to say, well, the feds always it. Well, the government's been existing since 03 when they bought Google. Thanks to Alex Jones. And he was an agent for them, a double agent for them. And he shouldn't have said that on the fucking Internet airways years ago he said that years ago and they probably control we already know they control youtube and google because they control the same company they watch see what you do they've been spying on you they just use the feds to do it as a cover feds are don't give a fuck about these channels they just they just want to see and they report back to the other group to shut you down for terrorism or counterterrorism. you know that shit they already got programs for that they just don't say it out loud. They just say it in the in the bushes and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is the type of stuff that y'all don't know. They've been they've been on this. Go back to 2012 when we got knocked off in 2012. I I, I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat to you. When they knocked us off in 2012, that was it of a real movement. It was it wasn't called a blacklist. It was it was targeting to the people of Israel or Yashra or would you say Israelites, right? I was on the top three on that list and they knocked my ass off and it was over for that channel. But then when I made this channel, it stand the test of time. I still talk the ideology, but I don't share it with nobody no more. I kind of just nuke it down and I just give you scriptures and fragments and subliminals. That's what I do now. I quote scriptures there and there and that's it. I don't quote it as much, but I quote scriptures there and there and I, I got it on the side over here. I can get it any time. I choose not to. Because I want to see what's going on in the world. I just, like, they in a little podcast. They screaming and shitting on the females. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got no patience for that. I ignore those channels. I mean, I don't entertain the bullshit when the niggas get clowned. But when dudes try to shame them, try to SBE like they would say. um, It's a waste of time. It's boring content. But when the, the hoes do it and the females do it. So I call them females, not these so-called women out here. They don't give a shit. They don't care. And try to control them is, is dumb. In this day and time, it's over. You're in wasteland culture. You're you're in something that matters. So again, y'all can't control the outcomes of what they think like. But shouts out to um he called himself Naker L. He, he he used to be called Bitcoin L or Brandon L. Shouts out to Naker L for that clip with um he said MOT. He said he's uh they say he's bitch first. That's hilarious. I mean that that's funny. It was an old clip. He used the old Cuda clip with with that with that thing. What's her name? Jessica S. I don't fuck with that bitch. Fuck her and, and the crew she messed with. She fucked with Finn Nelly and them. So I got a bone to pick with her. Um she need to go to hell. That's all I'm going to say about that. But it's it's kind of crazy. You know, she had an issue. She likes to throw shots at Ty City. You know, she needs to shut the hell up. And they said, we ain't seen her cammed up. No, we haven't. That, that could be a dude on all we know. And I'm saying it over here. Anybody disagree with it, they can go fuck themselves. I said it. Fuck you. Don't tell me how I know. I know. But I know a lot more what's putting on by these facades with these these niggas but we ain't gonna get into that but we do know um jx is done okay jx is done like she's she's not even relevant anymore she's i love it no she wasn't relevant she was trash she she didn't she didn't win hell pearl knocked your shit loose you see what i'm saying you see she's a joke compared to pearl and I ain't worshiping Pearl F her too, but she's a grifter. So listen to these people. I told you the red pill spaces are dead. If you're red pill, go outside. Be something with yourself. Actually do shit. You know what I'm saying? Red pill is living in a realistic world and fighting against the system. That's my red pill. That's my philosophy. You're going against the system. What you do is you don't conform it, but you adapt to the ways of survival out here. See, Here's where y'all blue pill. Y'all blue pill. Y'all spend so much time talking about females. And they try to say, we don't talk about it. I'm in the chat room this year. 
They said, you spend much time in these streams. That don't count, Zero. I mean, I, I had to disagree with him on that. I agree with what he's saying. Yeah, everybody spends time. Do I spend time in these spaces? No. That don't mean you spend much time. Now, Ramil, they try to say he's Manosphere. He's being in those spaces, but Ramil's not Manosphere. That's y'all biggest meal ticket. And Phil Nelly got so mad, he said, hey, you talking about the baby beard. N nigga, shut up. You're irrelevant. You mad because Ty City, they did their own thing. The logic sphere. Y'all niggas is mad because everybody's doing their own thing. That's why y'all mad because y'all can't do shit about it. Y'all can't do shit about it because them three is rocking those spaces. And then you got, what's his name? Duke the Dunn. He's doing his thing. He ain't worrying about that. He talks about a little man. Stuff, but I spend on time with different channels. Nines out of 10. I don't watch man for stuff. Most of my shit is uh the video game channels um hip hop is real you know the, the rap shit all that sports too raw for tv come on i don't watch everybody like that like i used to but i watch the ones i watch a lot it's based off my interests and what's that woman's name with the guns his name yoki stirrups shots up to yoki i watch them all the time that's so much time i'll be on youtube but not as much Normally, I don't be in chat rooms like that. I be in it every once in a while, just peep in and then listen. And after that, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And shouts out to the being there mindset. Nate, we've been, we been on this shit. We've been on this shit. So, again, like, live streams is nothing, man. Like, I don't be on live streams all the time. Normally, I avoid them. But if it's interesting, interesting topic about certain individuals, yeah, we spend much time to talk about that topic. But outside of that topic, y'all ain't talking about that. It's it's a week, but these niggas that be begging, they spend most time in the space. These weirdos that don't get on panels, um, the ones that do get on panels acting weird and explain, what's this be reveal, Lord reveal? Are you gonna have the LBM colors to you? Are you gonna have the LBM colors? Nigga, calm down. Fuck out of here. And you got bitch ass niggas like Young Jay and these whole ass niggas that be in Kuda's chat. Say, well, you get this day nothing. Like, shut your bitch ass up. You can, you ain't got no content. Whole ass niggas. Y'all niggas is retarded. Got the most retarded niggas in that chat. Can't think for their motherfucking self. That man don't give a fuck about you. He's in Ladyboy Central. It's a light roast for you niggas. Your types. The JC. Shut y'all bitch asses up. You niggas barely hit the panel. I can't take none of you whole ass niggas uh, uh, seriously. Y'all fucking uh, dog shit to me. You, you ain't nothing but grass according to scriptures. Y'all can take several seats back and go sit the fuck down and blow your brains out. Go do a twitch, nigga. But anyways, but you got niggas that think like that. They, they retarded in the chat room. I'm gonna go fuck about these bitch ass niggas in the chat room. They lame. They mad because they ain't remilling them niggas. They jealous. Just do a stream like I do or pre-record like this. Then shut the fuck up. Then you have something. Get some real content about you. Talk about something different instead of these fucking prostitutes and these whores and these harlots that y'all love. Right? That's y'all's damn problem. The man ain't shit now. He ain't going to be shit. If he complains about these hoes that y'all care about so much, stop thinking about the hoes and think what's up above between your shoulders. You niggas ain't on practice what you preach because y'all clowns. Shots of the world class to his a thousand. Many more salute to him. And he said they done effed up. Yeah, they done effed up. And I don't have to be monetized to say this. I'm just saying, like, that's all these niggas talk about. They're pathetic, man. They're pathetic. You think I care about what these niggas think? These niggas is losers, man. I don't care what niggas think on here. I really don't because these niggas uh, viewpoints is irrelevant. They the same niggas that talk about the same shit over and over again. Like I'm not impressed. And these niggas ain't going to do shit about it because they got something on them and then they got something on that person, right? That's all right. But when someone's got something on them to destroy they ass, they don't like that shit. Y'all niggas is pussy in general. I'm just going to say it right now. The ones that have that type of ilk, Y'all pussy as hell. Y'all ain't gonna do shit. And that nigga ain't gonna do shit. Bust the move, niggas. Y'all niggas ain't built like that. I'm sorry. Y'all just not. That for my if it was unrealistic, y'all ain't built like that. 
Because if you was, you would have done it a long time ago. That's why they don't fuck with you. It's that simple. I go by the actions, what you do online and offline. And offline, if you move, that's cool. But I don't think you're going to do that. You got too much at stake. You have a lot to lose. You just run your goddamn mouth like everybody else. Now, yes, I run my mouth, too. I'm guilty of this, too. I'm going to put myself in here. Yes, I take full responsibility. I take accountability of myself all the time. But I'm not going to be you niggas because we don't think the same. But it's a lot of you niggas. Y'all, y'all are fake. Y'all been fake since day one. So we already know that. I ain't mad. I learned to accept it. But you niggas ain't shit. The ones I'm, uh, I'm against and they against me, fuck them niggas, too. But it is what it is. Like, they show their hand the whole time. I don't, I'm not mad. I just accept it. Like, man, niggas, niggas fake anywhere. That's why I don't rock with those niggas like that. I let them be who they are, but I don't rock with them like that. If they on that bullshit. I just keep my distance. You know, we'll be cordial, neutral, but outside of that, I'm just going to cut you loose. That's, that's just a fact. I stopped fucking with niggas a long time ago. I told you about my story in 2012. Like, I, I don't do that collab shit. Unless it's genuine and... It's official we can do that but outside of that it's just not gonna happen no the way how y'all move and other side no shout out to the remill for that that's why i'm very very careful who i give my business to i'm very selective who i trust on here especially on this sorry website that we call uh, google and youtube so, that's a whole nother topic on that. I just want to speak my mind. You know, Sunday daily, speak on what's going on. It ain't nothing. Nigga shit as usual. Um, Sunday Madness was an experiment to see streams. If y'all want to watch the nigga shit, like Sunday Madness number two is the only one and a few others. And then some of it positive, talking about mental health and all that. Y'all can watch those streams. Y'all, it's, it's still up for a reason. I just stopped carrying them because people ain't participating. And I stopped doing it. I get tired of doing it around two something threesome and i used to do that i don't do that anymore those were like my pandemic streams if you want to watch them watch them as you can thursday thrills will go on this year but next year it ain't gonna be around i'm gonna tell you that right now it is what it is it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my little thing, my internet's acting up. Yeah, it's, it's about time for me to go. I end the recording. Okay, I end the recording. Okay. Okay. That's it. I done said my time, my peace. Until next time, I will see y'all in the Independent Thinker Series this Wednesday, round two something, and then Thursday Thrills, of course. I'll see y'all next time with another Sunday Daily, the seventh, you know, the seventh edition of this. So with that, may the people of Israel or Yashro, Mosiah, bless to the people of the chosen. Of course, Shalom. Until next time to the Gentiles, I salute to y'all and I'm signing off and I'm out.